Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we will discuss about vegetative and asexual reproduction in brown algae, which is also known as Pheophyta. So first of all, we will discuss about vegetative reproduction. Brown algae generally reproduce vegetatively by the process of fragmentation and profagule formation. So first of all, we will discuss about fragmentation. In this process, a part or fragment detached from the parent plant, and this part or fragment have the capacity to develop into a new alga plant. This type of reproduction occur in Scophyllum fucus and sorghum. These are examples of brown algae. So you can see here, this is the parental plants, and from this parent plant, a fragment is detached and this fragment have the capacity to form a new plant. So this is a simple way of vegetative reproduction. The next type is profagules formation. Profagules are specialized vegetative branches which develop from the main axis of parent plant and on detachment these attaches to a suitable substratum and germinates into a new plant. This occurs in special area. So this is, uh, you can see here, this is the main plant and this is the parent plant and these specialized cell produces hair. These are known as profagules and these detaches from the parent plant and attaches itself into a suitable substratum and this then germinates into a new plant. So these two types of reproduction are very uh, are common in brown algae. Very rarely in brown algae, echinid formation also occur in which vegetative cells develop into a special enlarged cells known as echinids. So this is all about vegetative reproduction. Next one is asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction generally occurs in all brown algae except members of few calis which have no asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction in the asexual reproduction haploid and diploid zoospores are formed so this occur by the process uh, by the production of zoospores. Applied zoospores are formed in a special sporangia known as unilocular sporangia. Unilocular sporangia have one locule or cavity, so this is known as unilocular sporangia. Deplied zoospores are formed in plurilocular sporangia. Plurilocular means have many locules or cavities, and this form deplied zoospores. We will take an example of ectocarpus in asexual reproduction, which bears both unilocular and plurilocular sporangia. So this, in this figure, you can see this is ectocarpus plant. This is the main branch. These are the side branch. This black color sporangia is known as plurilocular sporangia because it have many chambers, cavities, or cells. And this white color sporangia are known as unilocular sporangia because it have one cavity or cell. So first unilocular sporangia, how it is formed and what it do. Unilocular sporangia develop from the terminal cell of a short lateral branch, which increase in size, become oval in shape and have deployed nucleus known as sporangial initial. So unilocular start as a sporangial initial from the terminal cell of short lateral branch. Then they, it undergoes meiosis, then a number of mitosis into 32 to 64 haploid nuclei along with the division of protoplast which the protoplast then changes into haploid motile uninucleate pyriform which is known as pear-shaped in structure by flagellate zoomiospores. So after meiosis and mitosis uh, from 32 to 64 um, cells uh, are formed which are uninucleate, five, uh, pyriform, pear-shaped, and bliflagellated cell known as zoomuspores. It is known as zoomuspore because it is produced by the process of meiosis. The flagella present uh, uh, in zoomuspore is in lateral position. The one, one is larger and tensile, which means it has small hairs and it faces forward in direction. The other flagella is shorter whiplash which means it is smooth and no hair projection and it faces backward direction in backward direction. Then the sporangial apex wall dissolves 
and it releases zoomu spores which swim freely in water and then settles on suitable substratum and start germination by withdrawing its flagella and secrete a wall around itself then a short germ tube is formed which is separated by a septum this the short germ tube then divides and redivides to form a prostate filaments which is present horizontally on the plant from the prostate filament and erect filament is formed and thus it develop into a haploid gametophytic plant of ectocarpus so this is the uh, how unilacular sporangia and zoomu spore are formed and germinate so you can see here in this figure this is a this is a diploid plant and from this diploid plant a sporangial initial develops so you can see here and this sporangial initial contain diploid nucleus to ex nucleus this then undergoes meiosis and the nuclei become x haploid because meiosis is a reduction division and zoomu spores are formed so then they undergo a numbers of mitotic division and a 32 to 64 cells are uh, uh, nuclei are formed so this is and this this, this is the unilacular sporangia having nuclei and chromatophores then the protoplast of the Uh, sporangial initial also divide uh, along with uh, uh, divide into uh, different cells having uni uh, having haploid nuclei so uh, into a daughter protoplast you can see here so the spor the, the uh, unilacular sporangia then contains zoomu spore having biplagellate structure and uninucleate and They are motile. You can see here. This is the individual zoomu spore. The flagella is present laterally. One is large, faces backward in direction, and have hairs-like projection, which is known as tensile flagellum. This short one is whiplash, and this faces in the forward direction, and this is smooth, have no hair-like projection. Then this zoomu when the sporangial apex wall dissolves. the zoomu spores are released and it attaches itself into a suitable substratum and germinates by withdrawing its flagella so you can see here these are deflagellated zoomu spore flagella are gone and then a short germ tubes from this zoomu spore are form you can see this is a short germ tube this germ tube are then separated by a septum you can see here this has become a cell and this germ this start grow growing a prostate filaments and from this prostate filament an erect filament is formed and thus a new haploid gametophytic plant of uh, ectocarpus ectocarpus is formed so this is how the unilacular sporangia formed and it grow and germinates into a new plant next one is plurilacular sporangia plurilacular means it have many lacules or chamber so it is a multi chamber body formed on sporophytic plant from the terminal cells of young branches known as sporangial initial so it is also known as sporangial initial but it is a multi chamber structure the sporangial initial become long in large and undergoes a numbers of transverse and vertical division along with the nucleus to form a multi chamber structure so the sporangial initial become in large then be, uh, then undergo a number of transverse and vertical in horizontal and vertical um, direction and these are mitosis uh, process mitotic division along with the nucleus and form a multi chamber structure and this multi chamber structure consists of cubical cells with diploid nucleus and these are arranged in 20 to 40 tiers of transverse cells so the cells are produced, are present the, uh, these cells are cubical in nature and they have diploid nucleus because this uh, divide by the process of mitosis and layers of 20 to 40 cells are of transverse cells are present in plurilacular sporangia layer by layer 20 to 40 um, rows of cells each cells with a diploid nucleus then metamorphoses into a single biflagellate uninucleate diploid zoospores 
so in the sporan the multi chambers the multi uh, the plurilocular sporangia with diploid nucleus then changes into a single biflagellate uninucleate diploid zoospore and they, these zoospore are releases from terminal or lateral aperture and germinates into a new diploid sporophytic plant directly so you can see here this is the diploid plant from this plant horizontal division start by the process of mitosis and sporangial initial are formed so you can see this is horizontal division and a filament short filament is uh, formed so you can see here this is then vertical division also occur so horizontal and vertical division occur and a multi chamber structure is formed which consists of 20 to 40 layers of cells you can see this is a plurilocular sporangia which is diploid in nature and it contains zoospores which is diploid in nature and these zoospores are releases from the um, uh, uh, terminal aperture when the terminal aperture dissolves so these zoospores are releases and each zoospore directly develop into a diploid uh, sporophytic plant of ectocarpus so this is all about plurilocular and unilocular in inner sporangia thank you for watching see you next time